I'm here with uh, Simon Westland from Black Magic Design, and Sam, Simon, I have a question for you. What made the decision for Black Magic Design to choose for 71, 70, 2110 instead of NDI? Uh, gosh, it, it, it's a great question, Roger. And I think you know we've been asked that a number of times over the last few years. It feels like every trade show we come to, everybody asks about what Black Magic's going to do for IP video, uh, and the standards we choose, the compression we choose, and which way we go. I think what's really important is that many many of our customers that use Blackmagic product, whether that's Deathlink cards or Ultra Studio cap capture devices, are used to working in uncompressed video. And I think one of the challenges with a lot of the other systems is that their compression levels and their latency is a problem in both broadcast places and also within live AV, uh, where they don't want either of those two things. Those two things are considered evil uh, in regards to their workflows that they're dealing with high compression and high latency. So very much for us, one of the things that was important was to um, basically set upon using the SMPTE standard for 2110. And also, if you know anything about our Blackmagic product line, you'll have seen for some time, many Blackmagic products have had a 10 gig ethernet connection on the back of them for the last couple of years. It's done nothing, it's not being enabled, but it's been done and the product's been developed with the mindset that at some point, that product would be enabled to be 2110 compatible. So what you're now seeing here at NAB this year is that we've done an upgrade to the SmartView 4K uh, rack monitor, which everybody's familiar with, that is now natively 2110. You can go 2110 straight into it. Same price as the previous model, but it's a 2110 model. We've done exactly the same with the Blackmagic Audio monitor. That is now 2110 natively in the in, in the rack unit. Um, but also what we've announced and what we're talking about is that we're going to upgrade our studio cameras, our as uh, broadcast cameras and a bunch of other Blackmagic products to enable them to be 2110 uh, natively within that product. But of course, then there's got to be a way of how you bring third party products into that same workflow. So we've done a bunch of converters, um, IP to HDMI for monitoring and projectors and those kind of things. We've done a bi-directional IP to SDI converter, which allows you to then also, it's got some camera talk back features and everything else. So you could bring a third party camera into an ATEM IP workflow. So I think the, the crucial thing with, with, with the standard is to make sure that it's easy to use that it's affordable to use and, 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 and really that we're giving people end-to-end -end solutions as to how they can switch to IP and moving from SDI. And I think if you look at the product line that we've announced here at NAB this year, I think we're really giving customers a, a sense of how easy it will now be to move to 2110 as a standard. Thank you very much.